Hey movie fans, welcome back to the David Lee channel where I love talking about movies and movie news. Well, I just got out of my first screening of Get On Up. And as the title says, get on up and that's the one thing you will, you will want to do out of your seat is get on up and just start dancing. Because this movie has soul. If you did not know, this is the story of James Brown. And James Brown is being played by Chadwick Boseman. Now, Chadwick Boseman, you may remember him from the movie 42. Well, he comes into this film... It embodies the godfather of soul. I mean, it feels like James Brown's soul came into Chadwick Boseman and just thrived in there and just made something absolutely beautiful. You could definitely tell that Chadwick Boseman, as he is doing this film, he studied his ass off for this role. Because this, people, is the best performance I've seen out of an actor this year. I mean... I did not see an actor up on screen, but no, but I saw the Godfather of Soul himself, and it was just so miraculous to see. Now, one of the things I gotta say that was really interesting about this film was the way it was shot, because we have seen a lot of musical documentaries out there, and they kind of go around the same type of themes and the same type of arcs, and we kind of know what to expect. But Tate Taylor, the director of this film, I felt he did a miraculous job at the way he cut the film, going from the past to the present to the future, and just how he made it all cohesive. I mean, there were some times, though, that you could definitely tell where the editing kind of got a little bit choppy, but... I was just enthralled by everything that was going on. And I loved how Tate Taylor just focused in on the aspect of James Brown as a kid. I mean, when you saw the kid James Brown and saw his lifestyle and who his parents were and the lifestyle he grew up in, it was absolutely enthralling. And seeing how, as a kid, how a parent could just either poison or just make the kid into a better man... It's just so interesting to see the aspect of a kid emulating his father or mother later on in life. And it was just so miraculous to see this. I mean, as you can tell, I was enthralled by this movie. That every single scene where you have James Brown just trying to get everyone to realize his aspect or his thought about music is absolutely amazing. Seeing how James Brown broke down the system to what could be what we see today. I mean, he broke it down and he rebuilt it to something that was absolutely enthralling. I mean, every single scene I was in there in that movie, I mean, everyone around me was just like tapping their feet, you know, just getting into the groove of the film. And I love how this film didn't try to deviate and say, okay, now we're just going to focus on the drama, but they have intertwined the music and the drama all together. And I love how in this film, you get to see aspects of the culture around James Brown and how he was influencing it all. You see the political element to it. You see the, just the, the, mind-blowing awesome that James Brown is. This film had me, as I said, enthralled. And that's one like the biggest thing I biggest compliment I give to a film is when you're sitting on that seat and you're looking up at screen and you don't see actors, but you see the person that they're trying to portray. And with this film being an autobiography, it's so hard to see the person that the, the actor is emulating, but if it's done well, that is where this film does perfectly. Now, one thing I love, though, is that it wasn't just the James Brown character that was great, but the characters around him. Um, the Probably the um, one of the best characters in there who could have been easily a forgettable character, but was of Bobby Bird. Seeing this character who was under the shadow of James Brown and who was there since basically the beginning and how this man just was under the shadow of James Brown, how he could just shine. Nelson Ellis, the char the actor who plays Bobby Bird, wow, man, you could have easily been a forgettable character, but you brought something to that character that we, I don't believe we would have had James Brown if it wasn't for Bobby Bird. I mean, it was just so interesting to see these characters just 
bantering back and forth and seeing how this man who stays quiet for most of the movie but when that one scene hits it hits big and to see how it just changed James Brown's life for the rest of his life is just absolutely amazing now other than a couple of scenes where you definitely see the editing kind of got a little choppy this movie was fun this movie was a lot of fun and there's one thing though I was thinking I heard on a different review where they said we wish that we more focus on on um, James Brown drug abuse which I think that would have been really interesting to go into especially with this being uh, a movie of two hours and like 20 minutes I would have loved to seen some more dirty James Brown because more I think about it though like you see right right now I'm just thinking about this movie through and through and it dips into the drug abuse but it doesn't go full full blown uh it more focused in on the um the way James Brown changed culture and it was awesome I I really did enjoy this movie this movie as it says, it get on up, and that's what I did. It was so much fun. And also, when the credits started rolling, everybody that was in my theater, about 35 of us, we all sat in our seats as the credits were rolling, just listening to James Brown's music. If that does not tell you that this is a good movie, and if this does not tell you that James Brown does a fantastic music, then... I don't know why you would want to go see this movie. But if you are wanting for a fun time at the movie theater, people, people, please go see Get On Up. And I am going to be giving Get On Up an A. This film was so much fun. And I cannot wait to go and see it for a second time. And so tell me, if you've seen this film, what do you think about it? Let me know down below and let's just get the conversation started. And thank you for watching. Is just I just love talking about movies as you guys probably can tell and so I'll see you guys next time on the David Lee channel thank you for watching